State offices are closed today because of Juneteenth, marking the day in 1865 that the last enslaved African Americans learned they were free. But it's not in state law that Alabama permanently recognized the holiday. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple explains why and has more on the efforts to change that. Juneteenth became a federally recognized holiday in 2021, and since then, Governor Ivey has proclaimed it a state holiday every year. But that could change based on the governor. Democratic Representative Wanda Lingavan wanted to change that. She filed a bill last session making it a permanent state holiday. I just want them to understand that black history matters also. Black history is a part of Alabama history. Gavan's bill and other Juneteenth related bills were moved to a subcommittee and ultimately failed to make it to the floor. Here's committee chairman Chris Sells during that hearing. We will work on them, I give you my word. But I want to I want to get these bills. I, I want to come up with one approach. We've got five different bills about holidays and I want to come up with one approach. Representative Sells said on the phone he's leery of adding more state holidays, especially when many of his constituents wouldn't get that day off. And he says would essentially be funding the state employees who would get the day off. He says overall he supports Juneteenth, but not necessarily as a paid holiday. Gavan says if Alabama can recognize Confederate Memorial Day, Jefferson Davis's birthday, and Robert E. Lee's birthday, the state should be able to add Juneteenth. I'm concerned that, you know, just as we uh, recognize all of these other holidays, President's Days, these Confederate holidays uh, that are on the books, that we cannot recognize Juneteenth uh, and what that means to Black people, African American citizens here in the state of Alabama. Now, Representative Sells says the committee is in the process of working something out, and he hopes by next session there will be a compromise that works for everybody. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. And according to Pew Research Center, 28 states and Washington, D.C. recognize Juneteenth as a holiday.